Hi guys. Um, this is the second take because I accidentally deleted the thing. So, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Kaylee. Nice to meet you. Um, welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming to check it out today. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, thanks for being a part of the family. Um, today is just going to be a Q&A and then I'll close out with a prayer. Um, let's see. Okay, I had a bunch of my friends, I asked a bunch of my friends any random question that they wanted to ask me, and my friends just gave me questions to answer, so. Um, your least favorite zodiac sign and why? Um, I, I'm a Christian, so as a Christian, we're not supposed to really be into, like, zodiac and astrology and all that. Like, I know what I am, because people will just be like, hey, what zodiac sign are you? So I have to know to, like, tell them or whatever. But, like, I don't read into it. I don't understand what all of it means. Um, but I've heard from a lot of people that cancers are toxic, not against people that are born in that period of time. Um, also, a person I used to be close with was a cancer. So... However, they're out of my life now, so. Specifically against him, not against all cancers, because I'm sure I know cancers. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's see. My favorite childhood memories. Oh, this could take forever. Um, every time I went to my great-grandmother's house, she had this, like, four- this piano mat thing that you could lay out on the floor and push a button on it and tap on it with your feet and you could play piano chords. We used to do that when I went to my great grandma's house on holidays. Um, she also gave me this really cool china doll, which I own now because she died and she gave it to me when she passed. Um, so I own the china doll I used to get to look at every time I went over there. Um, let's see, another, another childhood memories. Another big one would be from like age one to age six, seven, maybe ten. I don't even know when my mom stopped making cakes. My mom gave me and my brother themed parties. She's doing it for my little littlest brother still, but my mom gave me and my brother themed parties every year for our birthday. That was like one of the biggest things growing up. Um, even for my sweet 16, I got a theme party. And it was like Paris and French and everything has to be all French because like you guys know, maybe I haven't mentioned before, but I love anything French, like French bulldogs. I love looking at pictures of the Eiffel Tower, all those kinds of things. So I like that. Um, but we have like purple and Paris as the theme, but it's hard to find purple Paris things because everything for Paris is pink and black. Plus it was a sweet 16, so... We gave out favors that were like gold and silver Eiffel Tower ornaments, which were really cool. Um, I actually have a couple of them still. Uh, my favorite candy. Ooh. What is my favorite candy? I told a friend the other day it was Mike and Ike's, and I like Mike and Ike's a lot. Let's see. Mike and Ike's. I like Reese Cups occasionally. The white chocolate ones are good. Um, grape Twizzlers are good. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Certain flavors. I don't like the black licorice ones. Um, my favorite movie. Oh, let me think about that. I could probably pick one from every single genre, not specifically a favorite one. Um... I like The Princess Bride and Ella Enchanted. Both of those are really good. Um, I couldn't think of any other ones, maybe. I'm trying to think of one I've seen a million times. Oh, Leap. Leap is really good. I really like that one. Um, I'm trying to think of one more. Oh, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie of all time, so I'll say that one. Uh, what is my favorite activity to do in the fall? Usually it's to scoop a giant pile of leaves together and jump in it, but unfortunately because of how windy it is here and um, campus being so spread out and there not being enough space to just put a giant pile and jump in it, it's 
hard. Um, I'm enjoying walks in the fall, though, because we get to walk on crunchy leaves and stuff. Me and my friend are super excited about that. Then, like, apple and pumpkin stuff is coming out. We're, we're excited about that. She likes apple spice and pumpkin. And we got um, pumpkin spice flavored hot chocolate, which was definitely interesting. It's at Walmart if you guys want to check that out. Um, what is my favorite song? Right now it's called Meet Me at Our Spot by Willow and the Anxiety. And I forget who the other person is. That's good. Meet me at our spot. We'll learn my anxiety. Go check it out. Um, it's really good. Okay. What's my fashion inspiration? I can't say that I definitely have a fashion inspiration. I kind of... I'm sorry, it's shaking. It's on top of my legs. Hold on. My fashion inspiration... I don't necessarily have one, I just kind of have casual as my style, so I don't know. For dresses though, I kind of just got to figure out what fits my body, what looks right to me, because some things I put it on, I'm like, yeah, this is cute, but on me it doesn't work. Because as I got older, I ended up being towards bigger sizes, and right now I think I'm actually plus sized in some stuff. Mainly because a lot of the dresses nowadays are made too tight across the stomach area or the waist. And I have bigger hips, but in broad shoulders. So that's definitely hard to find. Um, I wouldn't really say I have a fashion inspiration. If I have to pick casual stuff, I wouldn't say like trashy things. But like, I don't know, like Billie Eilish, she wears like t-shirts and sweatpants all the time. That's kind of like the thing I do. Um, t-shirts, sweatpants, sport shorts, tank tops I usually wear to bed. Um, I don't really wear dresses except to church. Or unless I'm com comfortable wearing around the house. Um, what would I call my aesthetic? Uh, again, casual, comfortable, um, laid back, chill. I don't know. Um, what makes me happy? Oh, tons of things. Um, let's see. For one thing, Jesus. Um, I've been getting more into reading the Bible lately, especially with my Bible class. I feel like that's been connecting me a little bit more. I felt a little closer through prayer currently and also through song I was listening to worship music yesterday. And I came across a song that connected me in some way and I had a really nice moment so that was great um people my friends here um food definitely as long as it tastes good um music definitely makes me happy um my ombre sheets i have purple and teal this is my pillow i have purple and teal bedding but it's really cute. I like ombre and purple and teal together. Purple, teal, blue, and... I forget what the other one is. Purple, teal, and blue are good. Three favorite colors. Um, if I could find a new way to generate electricity, what would I use? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, if y'all have seen Back to the Future 2, I think it is, and the second one, Doc was loading the car with, like, banana peels and like um he was loading the car the trunk the um the fuel source with like banana peels so like compost i probably use compost to, uh, to, uh generate electricity just like doc did when he fixed the car um let's see what's my favorite thing about myself and why I'd have to definitely think about this because most days it depends. It just changes. Some days I like my hair. Right now you can tell it's a little bit oily. But that's because it gets hot and then I get sweaty and it looks shiny. Which I do not enjoy. Um, and my face definitely isn't super fun to look at. It wasn't super broken out earlier, but it's all red for me. Laying in the pillow. Um, favorite thing about myself. Hmm. 
probably say my height right now because I can totally be happy with my height because my roommate is 5'1 and I'm 5'8 and a half so I can definitely reach things that she can't so I can be helpful to her in that way but also I don't know it's kind of nice because it's like halfway between five five foot and six foot so it's just like yes like I'm the half the half in between so it's kind of nice I like my height um my eyes seem to be a thing that don't really change so I'd say my eye color because a lot of people have said that recently um Probably it. Oh, and my flexibility. I can still do the splits. Yeah. Um, do I have any pets? I wish I could have pets here. I'm not allowed to have pets in my dorm. But I do have an outside cat at home. Her name is Taco. She's the cutest darn little thing ever. Her and her green eyes. Let me see. I might have a picture. Hold up. That's what my kitty looks like. That's taco. So yeah, I have a cat. Um, let me see what else. I think that was the last thing. What do I want to do when I'm older? Okay, she wasn't specific. The friend that gave me this wasn't specific about like an age. Right now, I'm aging into adulthood, young adulthood anyway. Um... Let's see, I want to have a good job, a good paying job, a good car, I want to be able to drive, I want to have a good place to live, hopefully a really strong relationship, still, which I have a lot of, I have a couple close friends and then I have some other friends that are more just like acquaintances that are friends with everybody, and then I also have, um, you know, I forgot what I was saying. I'm not having the best memorization today. It's not really fun. Um, I actually hope to own a horse. I want a dog when I get out of school. But I want to own a horse someday. So hopefully a farmer at least land to have a horse on. Um, I don't want to live on a farm farm. But like enough space to have a horse would be great. Um, where would I, where would my number one place to be able to vacation be? Um, my childhood favorite place growing up was Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. We used to go there every year up until I was like 12 and then we started choosing other places. So like throughout high school, throughout high school on... My camera won't stop shaking. I'm sorry. My legs are a little anxious. Um, yeah, so from age 13 on, I think we did vacations in other states. And we've seen like half the states on this side of the... Or driven through half the states anyway. On this side of the Midwest. So, excited about that. Uh, my goal usually is to visit at least one or two president's houses in every state. Because I know there's probably one in every single state in the United States. Um, either their birthplace or a house of theirs or anywhere. So anything related to the presidents or any sort of historical thing we can go to, I try to go to those. I want to go to a president's house in every single state in the United States, but I like Hawaii is not one I'd usually think of or like the other states on the other side of the country. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm going to try to think about it. Um... Where do I want to live when I'm older? Hmm. I can't specifically mention like a state because I'm not even sure. Like I told you, I've explored most of the mis Midwest with my family being on vacation. Um, or like traveling and stuff. Um, I wouldn't say I'd pick a state necessarily because it could be Ohio, it could be here, it could be Tennessee, it could be... I don't know, I like Nashville, Tennessee if I could pick a place that's not... An ideal, ideal place to live, because, I don't know. Um, ideally, like, a two, three-story house. 
like four bedrooms, two, three bathrooms, a big kitchen with a wraparound counter, possibly an island, a big enough den for like a hangout slash school room, two car garage at least, um, a big yard, especially for like a dog and kids, um, or just to hang out in, um, probably a bonfire in the backyard, enough space for a garden. I didn't realize I thought it out that much. <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. Um, let's see. Can I think of anything else I may have been asked? Oh, another thing I was asked was how do I organize my school so I can get it all done? My mom gave me a planner plus the school. The school I'm going to ha gave me a planner, so I plan out each day's homework. And usually, for, if like a paper's due, like say a paper's due next Thursday, I'll back it up and do a step each day. That way, on Thursday, I can literally just submit and it will be done. Um, but I spread it out. I learned that in high school. My mom taught me how to spread it out like that. So I've learned how to do that. Um, Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah, this took up 16 minutes. I'm surprised. Um, I'm glad you guys stayed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then we'll close this out. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Um, thank you for the young men and women who've gotten, who've been able to come visit my um, channel today and see this video and hopefully learn more about me and maybe about themselves as well. Please help them learn more about you through everything that I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, guys!